Ah, go-go juice. According to Red, I just need to find a key as well. It should be somewhere around here. Alright, can I turn this thing off? Or do I have to go back? I think I have to go back. Huh. Actually, wait. How do I go back? There, tiny little box. It's all the boost I need. Yeah, hope, hopefully. Ah, there we go. Nope. I need two tiny little boxes. There we go. Oh my god. I just discovered that if you bunny hop, you can actually move faster in the vents. Look at this. Oh no, that is a bad thing to discover because now I'm going to want to do it constantly. Okay, let's find out what's down here. Oh. That wasn't exciting. Right, so all of that was just to get the go-go juice. So then... What is in here? Ah. Nothing. So then, what is down here? Nothing. Oh. That looks promising. An old storage locker. Once home to posters of playmates, now just home to dust and decay. Wait, are you sure? It has a picture of a key on it. That looks very promising. In fact, I think... Can that come off? It wiggles, for some reason. Large key, is that the one I need? I feel certain that this key in the gasoline tank is what Red was referring to. I guess you just have to wiggle it. Interesting. I could break it off, but nope. Supplies. I wonder what's through there. Probably nothing, but I feel compelled to check, but I need something to prop me up. Oh, you have to drop down. Yeah, so you, can, you come into here from up there, but you can't go up there to go anywhere. I feel like I should save it. Yeah, I'm gonna go save it. to put the stuff to use. We're gonna make ourselves a hole. Through the earth. Through the rock. Take you with me? Any more dogs wanna fuck with me? Nope. Alright, auxiliary place. Where was that? I'm calling to the dogs. Come fight me! It's totally safe, by the way. Don't worry. Wee. Hold on. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go through this door before this thing lands. Uh. I don't know if it worked. I kind of heard it hitting stuff. Wait a minute. 
Wait, how? No, this is the wrong... No, I need to go to the auxiliary place, not the... Yeah, that's not gonna work. Auxiliary shaft. Auxiliary shaft. Here we go. Here's what I think of you, mutts. So left. I'm amazed I'm not getting lost in here. Normally I do. Okay. Step one, go-go juice. The lid on the can it is rusted shut. I better have something that can get it open, or I'll be down here for a long time. Uh, fuck. Hammer? Phew! Got the lid off. Okay, good. Alright. As my new friend might say, drink, you thirsty beast. all this mystery and think it will set you free but truth is relative and relatives cannot be trusted to bring good gifts <laughs> what you seek lies in the shafts beyond this collapsing of the sky and if you look closely so do i a century of days has passed since i saw this area last the diseased ones sought to kill poor red but i took them on a wild poultry chase they ended dead they came from out the big metal door but after all my years i knew Hide and seek, turn to seek and hide. And I buried them here beneath the solid rock sky. He has quite a talent for rhyming. I'm impressed, I couldn't do that. It's tr God, I, I couldn't even read the first like three words before it disappeared. I guess I just press go. This can't be good for the machine. I'm just teasing the rock. Gonna get you. Gonna get you. Nope. Okay, let's do it. Apparently it was just a rock wall and then there's an empty chamber? Okay, you don't... Mountains aren't built like that, but okay. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is like a perfect... It's, it's a like practically a perfect little hallway. That doesn't make any sense. It looks... Yeah, it's just silly. And then there's another part here? Like, did they put in the rock walls? Because why else would there be a door here? I don't get it.
It seems so strange now to have been guided like a blind man by a faceless stranger whose sanity was clearly waning. Disposition unknown. For all I knew, this red didn't even have a disposition to speak of, just a seething mass of conflicting emotions. I knew that my radio-reliant friend must have been cocooned nearby, and perhaps in finding him, I would find myself one step closer to understanding what was going on. In just a couple of hours, I would find what I was looking for, and with it would come answers. I didn't realize at the time, but the answers I found would be for questions I hadn't even asked. It's like an opening into hell. I've never been down this far before. Ugh. How do I drop this thing? There we go. <laughs> There's no bottom. It's creepy. Yeah. That's a, that moaning sort of sound from the earth. That sounds almost like a wail. It's very disconcerting. Disconcerting indeed. Um, where'd it go? What? How? That thing was huge. That's what she said. But yes, it was huge. Where did it go? Yeah, this is another thing I really like about what they've done with this game is, again, the use of, like, a recurring theme in sound. The fact that you keep hearing the spiders in the walls for, like, the entire game, but then finally, at some point, you get to actually encounter them. So they're not just a noise. They're actually there. But you've been haunted by them the whole time. Same with this. You hear that earth, like, the shuddering sort of whale noise as the earth shudders all the time. And then you find out it's not just a noise. No, it exists and it's some gigantic, disgusting worm thing that can tunnel through the earth. It came through here like a steamroller. How... How many of them could be down here? Oh great. Backwards voices. That's a good sign. It must be my imagination, but it almost feels like there's warm air coming from down there. Probably industrial refinement machinery. Rusted and useless now. This door's sealed tight, with no handle. How is it operated? A strange door with no handle, and I'll or obvious way of opening it, uh, with no handle or obvious way of opening it, where does it lead? What the hell does operate it? At least there's lights down here. Is that a spider? Yep, that's a spider! I could blow the spider up with dynamite. Hold on, it's broom time. Because I got some reach with this thing. Come here. Ow. Okay, not very effective. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, I can't fucking use my weapon. I died to a single spider because I can't use my weapon. Oh, I forgot how finicky the weapons are. It's just... Ah, oh, they're weird. Oh, 
Alright, let's just avoid the spiders. Just avoid them. That might be difficult. Yep. I can outrun them. It's my one big advantage. I can outrun them. Oh god. Shit. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can blow the fuckers up. Did it work? I can't even kill spiders with... Or, no, is it dead? It is... Oh, God! I killed one spider with one explosive. One for one. That's, that's not a bad trade. Okay. Let's just do that. I probably should have done that from the beginning. But hey, I got to blow up a spider. That was fun. Thule. <laughs> Thule. The files are getting newer as I move deeper into the mines. Most of these are dated from around 1965. Strange. Nothing more recent than 1970. That probably operates the door. I don't want to know whether th that stain is oil or blood. I have my suspicions. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't think that would explode. Jesus. Is this like a blast door emergency thing? Is it timed? I want to see what else is here. I also want to blow up the nest. Fuck you! I don't think I killed anything, but I don't care. It is timed, isn't it? Because I think it... Yep, it just closed. Nobody can stop Philip, the fastest runner in the world. Yoink! Eat my chair, you fuckers! Smash my head! Oh! Okay. With my remaining ear to the ground, I hear your trembling tootsies padding towards their final destination. Things come to those that wait, whether they want them or not. And soon I think your wait will be over. The great metal door in reality is calling you, just as the Reaper beckons me forward. I look forward to finally greeting you. I only hope I need not greet the Reaper Man first. I think there's more dogs here. more contemporary mining crates, although they look more like cages. Yeah. Yep. Ah, oh, great. Another maze. That's a weird glitch. Alright, just came from here. Yeah. 
Section C. Shaft 12, Refinery, and Shaft 13. Let's... Let's go to Tool Storage first. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't see any explosives to use, although I do have two dynamites. I just heard one of them. Yep, I just heard one over there. Section C. This door's not designed to just fall open. Fair enough. Another security door. I'll need the code, I suppose. What's with all the extra precautions in this section? I guess this is a higher security zone. Just some communications kit and sacking. Never seen so many sacks. <laughs> there are a lot of sacks, aren't there? And they all say Thule on them. Whoa. It's an incredibly ornate dr uh, thing. And there's nothing in it. Strange. Holy crap, that is bright. Alright, well I know these explode gloriously. <laughs> it's like they have explosives in them. Nitroglycerin. Whoa, that, that's protected with barbed wire. Some bits and pieces not worth digging through the barbed wire for, though. How do you get to the supplies? Like, how are you meant to? Do you have to cut the barbed wire just to get to it? gonna come in handy. Also gonna come in handy. Looks like this route was sealed off at one stage. I guess it's open now. Oh yeah, it's barbed wire. Where should I go? Shaft 12? Let's go to Shaft 12. That didn't work at all, did it? Let's try that again. I waited too long, I blew up my fucking- I, oh, wow. Oh, I blew up my face and then I get eaten by a dog. I miscalculated the amount of time I had. Let's try that again without the failure. Without the utter failure. Alright, I, I- I forgot that they don't throw either. You need to actually pick them up and throw them. It's probably about to come around the corner. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Jeez. Oh, fucking hell. You need to... Just kill me. You need to, like, deselect the goddamn weapon to be able to pick them up. You have to unequip the dynamite to be able to pick it up. Very strange, very cumbersome. 
Third time's the charm. All right. That didn't do anything. That worked. Partially, they seem to have very poor balance. You wait for them to stand up and then they fall over like a sack of meat. They really look fucking disgusting. Alright, well, whatever. That was the total waste of everything. But, let's just roll with it. It's fine. I know there's more. That can't be the only one. Alright, this is just an empty... just a dead end. Or not. Where does that go? That wasn't even listed on the map. This door has been forged shut. It will never open again. Oh. Alright, I like this explosive better than the dynamite. It's much easier to use. Alright, that is shaft 12. Must be locked from the other side. Ah, all these things are locked. Alright. Refinery? Let's go to the refinery. So I need to take my first left. Yeah, take my first left. And then another left. you I actually hit it I actually hit it with the explosive what the fuck come here come here you great it's calling all of its friends I'm in a cage Come get me! Oh my god, it actually called all of his friends. What is this? These are marked as steam pipes. They do quite some damage, maybe I could use them. Hey guys! Wow, I could actually hit him through, okay. Wow, that, wow, this is like just an exploit, basically. Yeah, the combat system is awkward. Oh god. What the hell is even happening? I'm just gonna kill them any way I can. Because, I... Uh, yeah. They shouldn't even be in the game, to be frank. <laughs> it's such a weird system. The way they just fall over with one hit, and you can just wait until the instant they're back up, and then they just fall over again when you hit them. It's so weird. Alright, so I guess you could have used this to... Yeah, so I guess you could put, like, food inside of there and trap them and just steam them to death or something. Kinda neat. Anyway, to the refinery. Well, I've killed, I've killed three so far, so I'm guessing that's hopefully all that's in here. Okay, I can go to the refinery. What the hell? Oh god, this is Half-Life. A 
<laughs> I remember this. Oh, it's such a silly puzzle. It's one of those where each one does a different combination of things, so you need to get the right combination so every single one is open. It's so weird, some of the incredibly gamey stuff they've put in this game. It's very strange. I'll probably just brute force this. Didn't even really need to. Done. Important. I'm sure most people wouldn't want to get close enough to this machine to read those instructions. Indeed, who the hell would ever get, put their head under here? That's a very poor place to put instructions. Ah, only the engraving etched in the back of my mind can compare to the sight you must be seeing. Now power has returned. I wish I could be there with you, but circumstances do not allow for such frivolity. Maybe soon there is something you can do about that. But tell me. Are the rubber belted conveyances now churning in the rock room? I think I know where they lead. It is some kind of heaven or a utopia. Somehow I doubt that, Red. Right, so if I remember right, this is kind of like a nightmare. I remember this section being a bit of a nightmare. What is this? This is really weird. Maybe one of those huge worm things came through here. I'd rather believe it was standard corrosion, but I doubt it. Yeah, that looks like something coiled around here. Ugh. Okay, before I figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do here, what is in here? Oh. Right, I can't even fit. Oh, I can just... Jump my way to victory. Bunny hop, bunny hop. Right. So I'm thinking this does something. Does it come out? Somewhere? Maybe? Where the hell would it come out? Oh! But... Why? I mean, how is this... what? Anyone who's ever worked in a factory before, or, or any sort of a place like even vaguely similar similar to this. Tell me, does this at all represent how a factory actually is with buttons that are made like puzzles that do different combinations of smashy bits and then if you put a rock in like a thing it just falls out of what looks to be like a ventilation shaft that is apparently right over a ladder which means if anyone was walking up that ladder at the time they'd get hit in the head with a fucking rock? Like what? This makes no sense. What is this? This is freaking Half-Life all over again. Ugh. It didn't work. What did, what did that do? What did that do? Oh. Right, so now I can put a rock in there. This whole facility must have been a death trap. This fan would slice meat in a millisecond. I wonder if I can stop it. Broom? Nope. 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 This conveyor belt, conveyor belt must come out this hole. Come out at this hole. Ow. The hatch is open, but there's still a safety grill in the way. Alright, now what the hell is this? Some sort of spare motor. What 
What if I just jam a barrel in the fan? Would that stop it? Oh, it did. Okay. What the? Oh, it's because it's dark. We are now such good and lasting friends. I have gifted you with my love. Perhaps you can gift me with something. After all, the laws of politeness would be shattered if you were to appear at my party without a gift. Poor Red is so hungry. He could eat both the horse and the young rippling stable hand. Sadly, pony flesh is so hard to come by in these parts, and man meat is so... just so bland. If your eyes happened upon a scurrying rodent, would you deliver the crunchy feast by way of a final meal? If I see one, sure. Right, so apparently I need this thing. I could just plop it in here. I guess I'll just plop it in there. So it doesn't, like, fall through the world and disappear forever. And just for fun. Bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny Oh god, oh, now I'm gonna want to do that all the time. I don't know if that's how that works, but... Okay. Well, I don't have a scurrying rodent for you to feast on, but I do have a rock. You first. Okay, it's safe. Oh boy. You first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not safe. That That's literally just one of the, like, the cages, the cage box thing, and then they just put a bunch of pipes through it. Like, what? That, that is a weird use of assets. Alright. I hope the game saves here. Gotta time this. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. No, I lost it. Ah, oh, I lost it. Alright. I'm writing them down. Writing them down. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Gotta get it get a different viewpoint here. I'm gonna do this right the first time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Almost got it. Got the first one, then you go forwards one. And then you go to the right one. And then you go back one. And then you just stay here on the right. And then you go forwards two. And then you go left one. And then you go forwards one. And then what? can't see it. Actually, at that point, you could probably just run. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Okay. I guess I'm not doing this once. Two tries. 
I can do it in two. One. Oh. I can do it in three. I swear, I swear I can do it. Oh, oh my god. I went too fast. I blame you, Stone. Go back. <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> That's ridiculous. No. Oh, fuck. Alright. I wrote this down a little bit wrong. I wonder if I'm close enough that I could just book it. I don't know. Maybe. I gotta wait once. Then you go forwards. Then you go like here. Yeah. And then book it! <laughs> I made it! Holy shit! Alright, yeah, I don't know the rest of the ones, but who cares? I'm done. The door's jammed shut. What the fuck? Oh no, there's a thing! There's a. Oh fuck! Wait, how do I even access that? But how do I... Oh, I need to go up here, don't I? Wait, what? Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What about this? Where does this go? Can we past it? Are there multiple solutions? To that? Oh no, if I went to the pipe thing, it would have disabled the steam. Yeah, it would have disabled the steam. Okay. I guess this was where I was supposed to go. thing is heavy as hell. A cart and tracks for transporting ore. As far as I know, they use the same setup to this day. What the hell is that huge rod? It's completely closed up. I can't get out of that way. Wait, I can't get out. I can't get out that way. I may never get out. These chains are holding the cart in place. Well, we just happen to have bolt cutters. Okay, so I gotta break down the wall. Got it. Maybe, maybe I should fill it up with raw. Oh, is it going? No, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Give it... <laughs> give it a little bit more weight. So, what the hell? Oh, are you serious? What good is a cart if you can't even put anything inside of it? <sighs> Alright, just go. Do your thing. Do your thing. Stacks of books. They're a mixture of industrial reference material and scientific journals. Is that one of the worm things? Ew. It looks to be a smaller species of that worm thing I saw earlier. Or just a juvenile. It's been dissected, the internal organs removed. 
It couldn't be much older than that wall I demolished. Newspaper scraps, tons of them. Hundreds of newspaper clippings, all to do with biomedical sciences, local wildlife, or field studies. A cohort, a man with no name. It is he who opens this gateway to hell. A grin on his face. He is terrible indeed. He watches the men writhe and turn. Still, Father looks on, something vital in his hand. There. It's me. I'm inside that box. And outside of it, I don't... Uh, I can't get things straight in my head. A 60s microscope. Functional for research purposes, but we've come a long way since these were common. Old newspaper. Pretty well battered. Very little is still readable. Okay, so I need to do something with it. It's not a note. Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> Look at that gap underneath the door. Okay. A surprising amount of stuff for how to solve the puzzles in this game is coming back to me. Like, almost all of it. I know how to solve. It's weird. I didn't remember much when I first started, but it's coming back to me now that I'm in it. Oh, whoa. I... I didn't know that was there. I was just checking to see if there's anything behind here. I wonder if I ever found that before. When I last played through it, that was actually pretty well hidden. Just a stroke of luck that I looked back there. KNR, Monday 7th, June 1993. Minor land collapse in northwestern mountain range. Seismologists, on placement from the mainland, reported yesterday that a quite that a small area of tundra, about 100 square meters, collapsed into a cavity beneath the surface of the snow. The land was uninhabited. Oops, I just touched the microphone, sorry. It's probably loud. The area in question is part of the northwestern mountain range, and the collapse was only noticed due to its coinciding with the arrival of an annual seismic survey team. Experts have suggested natural cavities in the Earth's crust as the cause of the collapse, although due to its vicinity to an old system of mines from the 1970s. They have not ruled out the possibility of some kind of delayed explosion or other seismic activity. The probability that the mine is to blame for the event, however, is low, since it is very unlikely that activity on that scale observed could occur without some kind of human interference below the surface. <laughs> How little they know. Anne Dixon. Right. So, basically, it sounds like in their pursuit of this fluid and or the artifacts, Basically, their research in general, they have been blowing up the place and excavating like mad. This Xeno research team, or whatever the hell it is. Ooh. Whoops. Looks like a worm. It's very blurry. It's badly faded, but it looks like a, clo a close-up of some species of annelid. Can I, can I switch? Or is it just the one? Oh, I think it's just the one. Right, well, somebody's still been doing science, which is good. Trying to understand these things is incredibly important. Images and notes relating to the gray rock worm. This thing is big for an invertebrate. There's a note. KNR. Thursday, 1st of January, 1974. Increased sea traffic causes local concern. Inhabitants of a small village in the relatively desolate northwest have been reporting witnessing uncharacteristically large volumes of seaborne traffic over the past six months. Northwest Greenland is virtually uninhabited by modern standards, containing just 0.1 persons per square kilometer. 
one-third of the national average. Sea trade has dropped off dramatically since the closure of the northwestern lead and iron mines in March 1972. The mine itself ceased operation due to massive structural failure following an apparently accidental detonation of standard mining explosives, where all 47 workers were assumed killed in the blast. Bodies were not recovered. Now, locals are complaining of noise pollution caused by a high and steady volume of ships sailing close to shore. Unfortunately, in order for any form of official inquiry to be undertaken, the registration codes of the ships in question must be recorded, and since villagers claim these ships only travel under cover of darkness, this may ma mark a difficulty in their ongoing quest for justice. Right, so there's tons of activity around this place. People don't know what's going on, but there's tons of ships, there's tons of supplies being ferried, I imagine. Explosives, which apparently caused a cave-in at some point. There's a mess of statistics and crew drawings on this chalkboard. They all relate to a large species of annelid. It's locked from the other side. But I think the key's still in the lock. Oh yeah, you can see it. Right there. Alright, so if I remember right, you need to put the paper under the door. There's about a half inch gap under the door. But the connecting room's pitch black. And then, you need to, like, push the key through or something? I don't remember how to do this. Oh, I have a screwdriver. Maybe, maybe that would do. There we go. Bingo. Whoa. Oh, God. Those gigantic leeches? So much death and disease down here. I suppose slugs were an inevitability. Those things are massive. Some weird stuff in here. I could probably break this open if I wanted to, but I really don't. Now, if I remember right, when you do this, something cool happens. <laughs> yeah. God, I love this look. It's so cool looking. Black light. Just, oh man, just look at this scene. Is that not amazing looking? Beautiful. Disturbing and beautiful. What's it say? They left the... They left the... They left the blood is... Something head... Okay, so it's just a random scribbling, basically. Body, water, no trace. No fun. Meat. Devour. Yeah, it's just a ton of words. Professor. Rockworm Study. These are the biomedical journals of Dr. J. Peters. Uh, MSC? I don't even know what that means. PhD completed between the, between the dates of 30th of March 1969 and 1st of January 1972. At the Northwestern Research Station, within the Northwestern Iron Mine, with the permission of Delta Mining Corporation. Replication of selected extracts, left at the disposal of mine foreman. Subject of study, genus Ryakoff... Ry... Hmm, where do I put the tense? Ryakofla? Yeah, it's gotta be Ryakofla. Commonly called Grey Rock Rockworm. Aim, to investigate the abnormal presence of the... Catus in the Greenland Rock? Catus? I don't know. A method. Collection of samples, if indeed they can be identified correctly. Standard series of testing, observation, and dissection. Personal notes. Upon arriving at the mining facility, I was immediately stunned by the sheer volume of fauna that finds a way of life down here. Despite the conditions. In general, 
One would assume that species whose natural habitat is past a certain depth would find the intrusion of human activity too great a threat to remain in place. However, almost the exact opposite seems to be the case in this instance. It is curious that certain areas of the mine appear to be entirely without life of any kind, and yet other, deeper areas are teeming. And were the situation permitting, I would embrace the opportunity to commit further time to the study of these organisms. However, the purpose of my stay here shall continue to be the genus Ryacophila. Me. Ah, finally. Some writing paper. Look at me, just using up the pages to scroll down whatever comes into my head. Ha! Huh. What is this stuff anyway? Some kind of research paper? No matter. It's paper all the same. I can finally record what's been happening down here for... I suppose about a year now. It must be near the end of 2001 by now. Huh. I wonder when Christmas was. No matter. Too tired to write now. We'll rest a little first. Okay, me, so is that... is that red? Okay, we're back at the professor. Samples collected. The collection process has been far easier than I anticipated. The setup of the artificial environment for the rockworm went without a hitch, and the specimens themselves are so abundant as to make keeping them out far more challenging than containing them. They're all of healthy size, perhaps even beyond recorded size, and I can only assume that this is due to some lack of natural predators down here. Specimens are as follows. Three adults in artificial habitat. Two larval infants, dead. Me. I've been down here two days now. Was meaning to record events every day, but was too busy securing the area. I've used some supplies from the old mining system to wall myself in here. It seems as safe a place as any, so those things should at least stay put for a little while. To that end, it seems I've had a pretty lucky stumbling here. All this old research is about something similar to what's been hunt hunting me ever since I escaped the shelter four days ago. Don't get me wrong, after what, after what they did to me back there, I'd rather be facing anything else. And after almost a year of fighting for our lives, we didn't really stand a chance anyway. I don't know how many are left inside. But this is good. These notes might have some way to fight the things, the rockworms, that followed me here. I don't know how they knew I was coming or how they managed to follow me in the dark. But maybe I can work that out now. I found some old newspaper clippings. I guess they're referring to this mine. I had no idea it was so old, so big. I can see now why they built that facility here in the first place. A lot of history buried down here. It worries me though. We've been resting all of our hopes on rescue. All of our hopes of rescue on one of these scientists who escaped right near the start of it all. He got out almost as the chaos began, so we figured he might have been—he might have made it out and brought help. But maybe me and him are due the same fate. I must record what's been going on, give the world the answers it needs so it doesn't fall prey to what's been released down here. But first, I need to worry about myself, find a way out of here, and work out how to kill these worm things. Professor. Observations. The creatures are indeed larger than has previously been recorded. The juveniles seem to be seem to still be growing, far beyond their natural limits, although the adults have now expired. I will watch with interest to see what the lifespan is of this particular subspecies. The worms appear to have three senses, as would be validated by previous research, taste, smell, and an extremely sensitive sense of touch, which allows them to detect vibrations in the rock in the same way that the human eye senses beams of light and processes them into spatial images. Their natural prey is insects smaller than themselves, and heaven help those insects, because the worm is a vicious and efficient killer. Me. He's wrong. They have no sense of smell. Today, I attempted to distract them with a concoction I found lying around, but to no avail. It does seem that they detect movement via vibrations, which would explain how they could see in the dark. Damn, there's almost no way to escape them down here. I'm on their territory now. Lifespan is three days and counting. I can still hear them outside the wall. As an extra precaution, I've locked myself in the smaller study area, connected to the main lab room. If they get through that wall, I doubt this door will stop them. But it's better than nothing. Barely. Professor, conclusions. This subspecies of genus Raya Kofla is highly adapted for its environment. If released above the surface, it seems likely that it would quickly destroy the existing rockworm population, and soon after that, 
the population would grow to a size far outstripping its own food supplies. Given its increase in size and lifespan already, due to unknown conditions, I would hypothesize that the worm, if left in such conditions for a reasonable period of time, perhaps three to four thousand years, could grow up to a further three inches, making it a total of almost one foot long. <laughs> well, things have changed since then, haven't they, Jesus? However, should those conditions change, or indeed magnify, physical evolution could occur far more rapidly. Me. It's the fifth day today, and I swear they've begun to surround my location. I can't tell whether or not they have breached the wall I built, but I'm certain they've entered whatever area surrounds this room. The future looks increasingly bleak. I intend to record here the events of the past year, in the hope that, perhaps, what occurred could be contained or driven away. Now, I realize I could write all I wanted. No one will ever make it down here to read it. So why write this now? Good question. I have no answer. All I do know is, I'd rather take my own life than die at the jaws of those hideous monsters. I have tied a noose. Those monsters may feed on my corpse, but they won't take my life. Did he manage to... This has got to be the chair. I don't think he managed to do it, though. Or maybe he did and they fed on his corpse. They've obviously broken through. From the debris, uh, debris, I'd say something huge broke into the room not too long ago. There's blood and slime everywhere. Whatever happened in here, someone must have been in a great deal of pain. There's writing scrawled everywhere. It must be an ultraviolet ink. Definitely the product of a deranged mind. But whose? There's the dead specimens, the two adult specimens that have died. It's an artificial habitat. Those things look dead. Look long dead. I think I know how they felt. Not being able to get out. Yep. A cage. Their cage was just a bit smaller than mine. Um, while you hunt for those delicate, uh, melt-in-your-mouth mousy morsels, there are places you should not go, for, for fear of death. The Reaper lives here, just like you and I. And just like you and I, he must ingest the living flesh of those less fortunate to him. There is a small place that I do not want you to visit, even on your holidays, because it is dark and evil place that I've been. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small decaying mind, some bad things flowed from my mind and through my pen. The brilliant blue ink itself seemed to turn to blood into my grace. Uh, by the way, should you turn peckish, red is at its finest sautéed with a little engine oil. <laughs> well, it's too late for that. I've already been in there. Alright, so he's the one that did that. Stacks of books. I guess there's nowhere to go but into the hole. Or no? I can't go into the hole? That's actually a relief. I thought I was going to have to go into the hole. <laughs> oh, phew. Hmm. There must be something that I do in here at some point, but I don't think yet. Not quite yet. I need to do some science or something. But for now, I am going to end this episode here. Alright, so yeah, I'm still very much enjoying this game. A surprising amount of... Oh, let me get a stretch in here. Oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah. Um, 
a surprising amount of of what you're supposed to do and how to solve these puzzles, it's just coming back to me. I really didn't remember this stuff before going in. It's, uh, I mean, the, the story has that's the weird part, the story hasn't come back to me. I still don't remember what happens in the story at all, but for some reason, I remember how to solve these puzzles. For the most part. I'm really surprised by that. It's amazing what memories can be triggered just by kind of being back in the moment, you know? Like, all of this was obviously contained in my brain. All of this stuff. I remember the blue lighting and I remember the... Uh, to cut the... Cut the thing to let the cart come down and... Just all this stuff. So much of it I've remembered. But I didn't realize that before going in. But I, it had to have been in my brain. Because I've unlocked it. Just by actually being in the game. Very interesting the way the brain works. Yeah. And yeah, now we, we've, definitely, we've definitely hit the part of the game where... You start to see a lot of the more gamey stuff. Like, now you've seen how kind of ridiculous the combat is and how wonky and strange it is. You can see why they removed it, I'm sure. And also you can see some of the more gamey elements that thankfully they've removed, like the steam floor that has a particular pattern to it and the weird mashy button factory thing. I mean, there's some really silly stuff. It's so... I think the right word would be incongruous. It feels so out of place with the rest of the game. But it's still really good despite that. There's still so much like that's good about it. Like physics! Physics! Awesome physics! Look at this! Yep. Awesome physics. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. We're not done yet. There's a note on the ground. I didn't even see you. Come here. Copenhagen Post, Friday 25th, December 1970. Super superstition extinct. Death mine still breathing? A worker at the Northwestern Iron Mine, Greenland, is missing, presumed dead, as of midnight last night. Locals fear foul play. Mining now forms the largest single industry in Greenland. At 16 years old, the Northwestern Iron Mine is a relatively new part of a larger complex, which also includes a lead operation, and is built on the site of an older mine later converted into a military bunker and finally closed in 1952. The iron mine retains its excellent work record in spite of the recent disappearance of an uh, of an as yet unnamed worker. We have discovered that the man in question was a young laborer brought in from mainland Europe, possibly Denmark, and authorities on both sides of the strait are currently attempting to contact any family he may have left behind. The man disappeared 10 days ago and the mine foreman has now ex exercised his power to declare him presumed dead. This decision, we are told, was not taken lightly. A full search of the mining operation was commissioned to no avail. Without the appropriate equipment or transport, the man could not have survived on the surface. Although superstition in Greenland has seen a decrease in popularity over the past years, some local inhabitants still claim that the land itself is cursed. This very paper ran a report almost 40 years ago to the day, discussing high suicide figures for the area, but findings at the time were considered to be inconclusive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, with that, I will actually end the episode here. Alright, so I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.